This is uh, Robert C. Morgan. I'm a critic and artist, and I guess uh, sometimes a curator and uh, art historian. Uh, I'm with uh, a very important artist that I have followed for a number of years. Uh, he is uh, Hiroyuki Hamada. Now, I hear a lot of artists talk about materials and so forth, and uh, one of the things that struck me, Hiroyuki, is the uh, advanced idea of materiality. The, uh, uh, the material, uh, the how they interact and uh, manifest themselves um, are pretty much everything. Everything counts, uh, the, all the materials, everything we see uh, are part of everything and uh, we can't disregard certain things. Uh, having said that, do you have um, some idea of the kind of form that you're interested in pursuing mm. before or during or after or all three? Well, the with the sculptures, I, um, the process of coming up with basic uh, something, the starting point uh, is there. Uh, before I actually work on the material, uh, I would, uh, I draw a lot and something start to emerge. And, and this process that comes before the actual uh, sculpture making is very similar to making paintings. This uh, idea of uh, moving toward the construct is very interesting to me. And I have to say, relative to your paintings, uh, it makes so much sense seeing these in relation to your sculpture. My sculptures came out of paintings. They sort of grew out of the wall. I was interested in uh, object-like quality of the paintings. And then I was interested in texture and those things, uh, as opposed to sort of like a window I of yeah. illusionistic. Yeah. Uh, happening within it. When we stand back from this making process and try to analyze, there are distinctions, definite distinction between uh, what we call painting and sculpture. Sure. But in the process of making, to me at least, they really merge, merge together. And um, uh, just like, you know, um, in nature we have uh, a plain or field uh, would meet forest. And uh, in that area, there are particular habitats created by the condition. And I think the similar thing happened between painting and sculptures. In order to come to that point, I sort of relied on this sort of painting process. So there's a, again, illusionistic quality to suggest certain things on two-dimensional surface, and that's combined with the uh, three-dimensional presence. Yeah, you've mentioned uh, illusion two or three times now, and uh, again, I would say that that's a very Western idea. Mm. And that leads me to the question is, uh, do you feel that uh, you are borrowing anything from your own heritage, or are you completely innovated with the Western point of view? Uh, I was born in Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan was always, oh, already uh, incorporated into the uh, Western hegemony. Mm. And, uh, For uh, sure. uh, it, you know, with a capitalist framework and uh, 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 ideas of uh, Western culture uh, was permeating. Mm -hmm. uh, but the interesting thing is that aesthetic uh, environment was definitely different, I guess. Because I grew up in where I can go to uh, be exposed to shrines or mm. uh, Japanese type structures or the culture itself. And I met this uh, art teacher um, and that was a first experience I really uh, saw 
art in practice, what art can do. Uh, I didn't really grow up in an environment where art was around. Uh, so I didn't even know that art can do what uh, music could do, literature could do. The, the lines would have effect on me. They can actually speak, speak better than me trying to speak English. Where do you feel you're going at this point in terms of uh, your thoughts about your work? Uh, I've been thinking about how I place myself in the whole thing as a person. As when you say the whole thing, the the the, the uh, our society, mm -hmm. uh, how art is relating to it, mm. um, uh, the social structure we have, which is. Uh, it's, which is very feudalistic. It's mm -hmm. very hierarchical. Mm -hmm. the, and the art, on the other hand, is a uh, means to connect ourselves to humanity, what we call humanity, whatever we perceive it as humanity. And uh, hopefully that goes beyond what we perceive as society. Um, so it's an interesting situation. Um, um, for artists who we are, we are all within this uh, framework. We are all products of what it is. Um, but at the same time, we also have the understanding of where we are going as a species. And um, so the role of artist to see it objectively and share the perception is extremely important. I, I like very much uh, the fact that there is, uh, you know, a lot of space because I think that one of the things that is often lacking in exhibitions is a, a, a clear understanding of the space in relation to the work. Right, yeah, yeah. right. And I think having three of these down here and two up there is great, honestly. Yes. So, and I, I would say that this space of Stephen Hall is absolutely perfect for your work. But what I see and feel in the work is the concepts, deep concepts of wabi-sabi, of Japanese wabi-sabi. The, the, the sabi is the darkness, the wabi is the way that the thing can weather forever and look better in time. And when I think of the work, I think of the, the 1933 book, In Praise of Shadows, by Tanazaki, which was a book about subtleties and nuances. These paintings are made of charcoal and wood and, and paper, and they have a kind of mystery that I can't really explain. And I, when I look at them, uh, I, I feel there's something going on here. And I think one of the reasons he doesn't title these works is they can speak to anyone in any language at any age. Maybe that's the mysterious power of the work. My idea of uh, what I'm doing is that uh, it's the culmination of my understanding of my surrounding. It's somehow 
uh, resonate with our whole being. And um, I just use the word expression to mm -hmm. say that I'm talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, um, but uh, again, it's, it's, it comes back to uh, our, you know, w what we're talking about, you know, the, the society being feudalistic. And uh, we have certain ideas officially mm. and certain idea that's more grounded to the reality. And we have difficulty talking about. It's a, it's a very interesting time because yes, we yes. we even have a hard time talking about art because of the uh, this double talk situation. Uh, a moment ago, you were talking about uh, uh, the whole thing, and part of that is how art relates to humanity. Okay, this right. is a term that you use, which I like that term very much. Okay, I don't hear enough of it, but uh, I, I like hearing it, and I think that uh, for us to exceed or get beyond this uh, feudal process of thinking, and that's where it begins, of course, uh, we have to get back to that uh, inauguration, that presentation of humanity as central to our work. Right. I mean, the, the process of uh, making itself is very, very rooted in um, this condition. Um, the fact that everything has its meaning and we perceive and uh, uh, I as a person who's looking at these things and uh, managing these things I have to be able to see uh, the dynamics that's creating the harmony within it and within, this the, process, within the work. Right. I mean, yeah. this process has to be very, very honest. Yeah. I have to really, really respond to the essence of each element. But in real society, we have certain emphasis. Certain things are more valuable. Other things are not valuable. And this is the root of propping up the feudal society because we have this mentality to prop up something that's important that's you know if it's attached to money if it's attached to the power structure that's more important but when we walk in the stu studio we face the elements it's an honest process One of the aspects of this conversation with you this afternoon is the fact that you uh, are fearless in terms of your openness and at the same time you're extremely discreet and elegant in terms of how you present yourself mm. and I'm uh, very taken by that. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed the Thank conversation. You. I mean from Me my too. end. Me too. Thank you so much. And how much I've learned okay in the process and uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you okay I've seen many shows here but this is something I mean, you're an artist that uh, I I did not know other than through your work you know so now the work and the artist come together and that's the best of all possible worlds thank so you thank, thank you very you. much okay thank you. it's a pleasure